One of the questions we often get asked on Twitter and on Facebook is, which should, shoe should I be wearing, spikeless shoes or spiked shoes? Well, you know what, there's no easy answer to this because a lot of it comes down to player preference. Uh, if you look at the majority of the world tours, the vast majority of the world's players tend to opt for a spike model, like a dry draws tour or a DNA or a hyperflex, something like that. Um, that said, there has been an increasing number of players opting for something like a, a dry draws casual, so I guess that kind of doesn't give you the answer. The things that you need to consider about what kind of shoe you prefer to wear are what do you want it to do? You know, what kind of golf course do you play on? Do you play on a particularly a hilly course or particularly boggy where actually you know, a spike shoe is probably going to give you a bit more traction, a bit more stability through the wetter months? Or are you on a very flat, a linksy course? You might say, hey, you know what, that's less important to me. Spikeless is the best option for me. One of the biggest things with spikeless, of course, has been that versatility. You, you wake up in the morning, you put that pair of shoes on, you get in the car, you go to the course, you come home again, you go into the bike, you, you never have to change them. And that versatility, of course, is fantastic. And for some people, that will be the overriding factor. One of the things we often hear is, you know what, spikeless shoes are so comfy, which they are. But I would counter that and say, you know what, the quality of spiked golf shoes now is, is so high that the comfort factors, comfort levels would be very similar across the two. So probably that wouldn't be your overriding concern. Something we have seen an increasing trend on trend of is people actually having, having one of each. They tend to say for certain times of the year or certain courses they'll prefer a spike pair. For other, other times of the year there would be spikeless as well. One thing it is fair to say though is that the number of spikeless shoes being sold in the market today has plateaued. It's reached its peak and I think really that's people who have said, you know what, I'd really like to, have a, I'd like to try a pair of spikeless shoes. That number of people, they've, they've done that and they've either liked it and they carry on doing it or they bought it and they're going back to spike. One nice non-golfing analogy would be Usain Bolt, whose job it is to run 100 yards as fast as he possibly can. The interaction with the ground is so important and he relies on spikes to get that grip and to get that traction. Probably a good analogy when we look at the golf course, spikes are probably going to give you just a little bit more traction that you need, but as with anything, make sure you get fitted and speak to the golf retailer to understand the best fit for your game.